So I wanted to share this story about a situation where we were able to help a seller in a really sticky situation. Now this individual had actually called me prior um, asking if I could help him sell his home. And he was in a situation where he wanted to sell his home as quickly as possible because he knew in about 30 to 45 days he actually had a court date, uh, which was going to be a sentencing date, um, that was going to sentence him to a long period of time, either uh, in jail or possibly even prison. And one of the things that he wanted to do was sell his home as quickly as possible so that he wouldn't have to worry about his house sitting vacant while he was locked up and he didn't want to have to worry about selling his house while he was locked up. He wanted to get this all done before he, uh, before his court date and sentencing date in case it was a long um, sentencing period that he was facing. And uh, he had an idea based off of his attorneys and uh, past experience uh, with the past court dates that um, this was going to not be a good situation. It was a very sticky situation. He was going to be locked up for quite some time. So we had discussed putting the house on the market and I was going to actually um, act as his real estate agent. I was going to represent him as his realtor in this particular situation. We were going to put the house on the market and we hadn't even discussed the possibilities of me buying the home. He had actually contacted me to see if I could help him list the home. So I was happy to help him with that opportunity by listing his house, but unfortunately before we could get the house on the market, he was arrested and due to being arrested, it changed his court date and his trial date and it was pushed up um, to like a week from that particular day. So I get a call from him. He had just gotten bailed out of jail. Uh, he, he called me and said, I, you know, a little bit nervous, a little bit frantic. He goes, you know, um, things have changed since we last chatted. And unfortunately, I am now looking at a court date about a week from today. And this court date could sentence me to a long period of time, either in jail or possibly prison. So we need to get my house sold in the next seven days. And he understood that that wasn't going to be practical because a typical transaction with a realtor and a real estate agent is gonna take, you know, 30 to 45 days minimum, depending on how long it takes to find a buyer. So one of his questions to me was, could you buy my house? Could you, um, he knew I bought houses as well, and he said, could you buy my house? He goes, but here's the situation. I don't know when I'm going to be able to move my stuff out. So I need somebody who's willing to buy my house, pay me my money so that I could have that money. And another thing that he wanted to do since he was bailed out is he wanted to pay off his bail bondsman. His bail bondsman was charging him a really high interest rate, which was basically eating into his equity, eating into his cash that he owned within his equity of his house. And so he wanted to pay that bail bondsman off as quickly as possible. So he goes, I need somebody who's willing to buy my house, but allow me to still keep my stuff there for a period of time until my family can take it out because I'm not gonna have time to take all the stuff out of my house in the short period of time before my court date. So I need somebody who can pay me for my house, give me the money, buy my house, um, but then when I go to my sentencing date and um, get locked up, incarcerated for a period of time, I'm going, that, I'm going to need that buyer to be able to work with my family in getting this stuff out. So we were able to help this individual. We were able to buy his house in three days, um, paid him his money in three days. He was able to take that cash, pay off the bail bondsman, and eliminate that lien and eliminate the interest that was eating into his equity immediately. He was also able to have cash that he could do a few things with, attorney fees and all that good stuff. Um, but we were able to work with him for 60 days and, and in fact we were actually working with his family. He got me in contact with his, his mom, his dad, his siblings who all helped pitch in when they had free time moving his stuff out of his house into a self storage. And so we were able to purchase this house in three days, but still allow him the ability to keep his belongings there for another 60 days before uh, everything was taken out of the house. And that's just not going to be a normal transaction that you're gonna find typically happening uh, with a real estate agent on the MLS. We were able to be flexible with us, uh, flexible with him. Um, he appreciated the fact that we could pay him quickly and still were willing to work with his family um, over the next 60 days before his stuff was out of the house. So even though we owned the home, um, his belongings still stayed in the home for another 60 days. 
and he was grateful that we were able to do that for him. It turned out to be a win-win situation for everyone and uh, it was great to work with not only him but his family as well in putting his stuff safely into a self-storage so he wouldn't have to worry about his belongings uh, getting stolen or his house being vacant 